much of this. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to having a drink with the Hulk. That's right. It's the Mike Jones Hulk, ladies and gentlemen. He's coming right at you. I'm joined by the real Mike Jones. In addition to the Mike Jones Hulk. Oh, I showed our notes. How unprofessional. Huh? Huh? Pretend like you didn't see any of that. This is all stuff that we should know off the top of our heads. Nah, not, not necessarily, but... What are we looking at today, Well, Michael? Hey, it's good to be back. Um, it's great it, to have you back. This is twice in a row now. Right. So, um, yep, Three times a charm. We're, we're hoping that is. And I've got some comic books here. They unfortunately don't belong to me. They belong to a friend that I'm bagging and boarding. And he's okay with us uh, showing them off. But these are some incredible books that... We're going to look at it. It's Tales to Astonish. The early Tales to Astonish were mostly monster ones before the superheroes came out. Right, exactly. And then, um, from there, they it was kind of a tryout for this superhero and that superhero. And so and it was normally kind of like a Tales of Suspense where half the book was this hero and the other half was that, where they never actually... Got together a whole lot. Right, that right. Kind of stuff. So let's see what we got. I mean, we're going to start off with the oldest one, and Jason has the old stack. We don't know if we're going to get through all of these, but we've got some pretty good books here. Unfortunately, we don't have all of them, but... Now, this is uh, number 39. Now, this features Hank Pym, the Ant-Man. Now, the first appearance of Hank Pym was in Tales to Astonish, number 27. And uh, he didn't actually reappear in this book until issue 35, is that correct? 35, when he was first time in costume. So 35 in costume, right, exactly. Number 27 was the man in the anthill, and then he was in 35 in costume. That is correct. And so here we have a number 39, and encountering the Scarlet Beetle. That's right, uh, the Beetle Mania invasion that you've heard <laughs> so much about. It all began here, folks. Absolutely, and that is one honey of a book. It would really pop. What kid could say no? Oh, I couldn't say no to that. Back in 19, I don't even know where we're at, 64? Right, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking like this is uh, 63, yeah. to be honest with you. Right. Larry? Right. Does Larry know off the top of his head? No, he doesn't know either. Larry's not here today. He uh, got into some trouble with those uh, Polynesian, yeah, the Polynesian girls from the last video is... Uh, you know, dealing with some well, court, you, you gave court too many jungle comics to read. He got all frisky and, and off to and the races. Off, off he went. And, right, and so exactly, he exactly. Nyaka the jungle girl, <laughs> and you know the fire in his loins, folks. What can you say? I'm not even sure what that actually means. <laughs> it's best to just move on to uh, Tales to Astonish number forty. So moving along, we got two giant stacks here. So. We'll probably kind of speed this up a little Bang bit. Bang it off. It's of the... the astonishing Ant Man and the prisoner of the slave world. He's only seconds in which to act and no place to turn. That's right, and he's being menaced by a bug again. You know, it's it's a it's a really weird cover because, you know, what what you what brings out is the chain. You know, your hero is Obviously, he's Ant Man, but he's that big on the cover. So it's like, yeah. it's I, I wouldn't call that like is that, when I was a kid. I probably I don't know if I'd buy that. You know, I, I don't buy think cover they, alone. Right, they hadn't quite nailed the formula down. Right, you know, ultimately it's just like you want your Ant Man to be really big in the context of even bigger things, as opposed to really small in the context of normal size things. So maybe that's why in later issues here we go from the Ant Man to we'll get to that. It's entirely possible. Then, then there right? again, yeah, he's, don't jump. So about two inches right on the, on yeah the cover, you know? exactly and it's just like when you think about it he's the same size as the villain and this villain this looks have you ever seen nanny and the professor <laughs> <laughs> seriously you want to talk about your lame villain this is ant man versus the professor he didn't even rate bring a nanny into it she's the one with the damn powers you know but here we are Ant Man, you cannot help yourself. Do as I command. Plunge to your doom. Let's just go ahead and dive off the dock of the bay there. Right, exactly. And I'm yep. sure there'll be some nice I mean, little fish there to eat. It's got to be like a, a maybe a four foot drop. But when you're Ant Man, <laughs> right? That's, yeah. You know, oh, it's a considerable in, height. Into water. For sure. Now, see, this cover's a lot better. The I, I, I kind of like the the uh, progressive sequential kind of covers that you that they did sometimes back there, but. 
and he's getting old, older, older. Hey, I can relate to this cover. <laughs> This is like old guys who like old comics, the comic. But the cover's got to continue down here because he's really not that old. Right, yeah, exactly. (laughs) By this point, he's shitting his pants and drooling in panel seven. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. He needs to fall and not get up and (laughs) shit his pants. And uh, hey, here we we go. Uh, Now, we're on 45. You'll notice that. Ant Man is no longer alone well, on this we, cover. Yeah, because we missed forty four. Um, the collector here kind of sold some of the keys to back in the day to sell, you know, to because he needed the money for the gold teeth that so, the kids love so, so we much. missed number forty four, which was the first appearance of the wasp. The wasp, Janet Van Dyne, right? Wealthy socialite, ne'er do well. And uh, what a cutie pie. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you gotta love her. I've always right. been a big fan. But uh, here they are once again with some sort of corpulent. You know, it's just like, what's the deal? Why are they fighting 50 year old <laughs> businessmen? This is lame, Stan. <laughs> Stan Lee was always like, Ant Man's my favorite. Because and yet he if, couldn't if come was, up with Jack for. But if it was Dr. Doom, he'd just, you know, hit step on him and it's over. Yeah, with. that's right. You remember what? <laughs> so it's one- gotta be. Doctor Doom had the little vacuum in one of his <laughs> fingertips. <laughs> right, exactly. That's the end of that story. But hey, Ant Man, folks. So uh, now he's now he's got a partner, and they're teamed up, and they're they're doing everything they can. But it just wasn't enough for Stan and Jack back then. Right, right. So, but hey, you know, I gotta say, that guy looks like my long lost brother. To be honest with you, <laughs> if I, if I were to shave my mustache, and you know, we do miss his real brother. Not long lost. Right, Dennis. yeah, exactly. We, we want, we, he's we around Dennis here somewhere. Here. Dennis! Yeah, I think he's... I, Dennis! I think, I think he's with Larry with the jungle girl. Oh, something. yeah, yeah, the Malaysian girl. <laughs> oh, the less said about right that, the, the better. Are... Right, exactly. Well, let's not get litigious. Here we go. And hey, piano key. What number is that there? Cover. I don't know. Yeah. I'm holding them up. 47. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at the size of those fingers. Right. Uh, the funny thing is, these Ant Mans, you'll notice, it's like we saw Matchbook. Right. We see, you know, piano keys. It's just like you're going to see a pen and an inkwell real soon. Giant feather, you know, trying to <laughs> pierce them. But uh, then we'll oh, have your favorite. Oh, speaking of. <laughs> it's the, the bush. bush you find, right? <laughs> If you saw our last episode, we talked about how uh, this guy in the last cover looked. I didn't even notice he was there. I thought he was a bush in the background, but no, he was the bad guy. Issue 51. You can put the scan in, but he went from Ant-Man to... Boom! Giant Man. That's right. And uh, that's pretty nifty. Here he's doing a little bit better. That's a slightly better looking bad guy. Yeah, I mean, kinda. he's got some kind of powers other than his shoe going to stomp on him. Right. It's, on, you can't stomp on Giant Man now. He's going to stomp on you. So This looks like an old Christmas decoration come to life. <laughs> One of those like old filled with oil kind of bubbly ones, you know. It's just, that's about his speed at this point. Tales to Astonish 51. And then here's uh, number 52. Ah, the Black Knight oh, Strikes! Boy. I think he's coming in a movie here soon, but I mean, look how big he is on the cover. He's Giant Man now. So. Now, is this the first appearance of the Black Knight I don't Silver believe Age? that is. I, I believe he was in, in an Avengers, but I could be wrong. I'm not. But I believe, is that oh, a helicopter? Oh, right, right. I mean, it looks like a tail rotor blade there, and this could be a helicopter cover. I mean, I'd like to see more of the helicopter. It's, you know. It's going that way. It's going that way. And is he all tangled up in the... Uh, yeah, the because Black uh, the Black Knight would uh, shoot you with uh, little lariats yeah, yeah. that would come out of his uh, I, stick there. I haven't read that, but I'd like to know what the helicopter is doing here. He's hanging on to some kind of landing gear on the helicopter, which I've... He's, looks doing, like a, he's doing his best. It looks like a tinker toy. But anyhow, moving, moving right along. That's all you can ask of Giant Man. That's all you can ask. Doing his best, folks. And then we have... Oh, God. Don't park your pie in the back! <laughs> You can't get enough. Right, yeah, you know. <laughs> there he is again. But not, great cover. I mean, look how big he is on the cover, and the wasp is flying around. Yeah, I think just, the wasp actually looks really cool there. Yeah, so. That's very nice. Uh, Tales to Astonish number 54. Only the wasp can save Giant Man, and she's the captive of the evil 
El Toro. Oh boy, another guy in a business suit. Right, exactly. <laughs> He's your bull-based supervillain, folks. Except no substitute. Yeah, old El Toro. Then we have Tales to Astonish number fifty-five: The Coming of the Magician. I don't. I don't even have words for the magician. It's some some kid in his bedroom making rabbits come out of hats, and now he's going to fight Giant Man. Yeah, yeah, ninety-seven cents, and you can fight Giant Man <laughs> yourself, right? You get everything you'll need to fight Giant Man oh, in the world. Very wise. tall top hat right. and a wand. That's all you need. All right. And all then... right. We got the Hulk now. Here, com here comes the Hulk. Right? Okay. Now number sixty. Right. So not here. This this must have been after the Hulk. Hulk had his first six Number 59. issues. Fifty-nine, right? Exactly. Right? And then he kind of went into limbo, and this is where they picked him up. Is this the seventh appearance of the Hulk? Next up, what do we have? This fantastic. Oh, very green cover. Very nice, very nice. So we got the Hulk and, and Giant Man and the Wasp in there. You know, I, I'd be like, you know, if I was the Wasp, I'd be like, how come you guys get your name up on top? But I I don't. Right, you think There's with all that. There's three of us in the book. It should be All that Giant money. Man. Wait, what does it say right there? And the Wasp. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, and, okay. so oh no, it says, and the Incredible. So Giant Man has to share his yeah. box <laughs> with, with the, the Hulk. stinking Hulk. What a burn. Come on, y'all. Well, it gets worse for Giant Man. And uh, that sure looks like Chameleon to me. Am yes, I wrong? It, uh, yeah, from, uh, yeah, from Spider-Man, yeah. Right. So yeah, th things kind of take a turn for Giant Man, Ant-Man, and the Wasp here. Because the Hulk, I think... Started getting pretty popular. Well, yeah, he's picking up some steam. But, hey, the giant man, he's uh, discovering the wrecker. And the Incredible Hulk is uh, greater than ever in a Titan Rides the Train. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I always... Uh, yeah. Catching the 515 is always a dicey proposition, you know. You, sometimes you got to stand next to the Hulk and, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Then what do we have here? Here is Atuma. Yep, and then the humanoid horde. Oh, boy. No, here is Atuma. Oh, that's not Atuma. Ah, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm yeah, looking for. Not, we're, we're Get to the not. chopper. That's right. All right, moving along. Here we go. Picking up the pace. Yeah, oh, we're picking up the pace. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's what, what we're we need doing. to be doing. Picking up the pace. Right, Arnold Schwarzenegger is like, oh, oh, brother. So who thought it was a good idea to dress him like a roach? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like he's supposed to be an ant, but that is that is lame, dude. That is a lousy costume. And uh, the Hulk, you know, he's smashing some shit up. Yeah, he gave him a little box on that. He he didn't get. He's kind of getting the, oh. the brunt of it. I think they're really trying to to boost up Giant Man because we're at number sixty six. And I hate to tell you this, Giant Man. Yeah, well, Madame Macabre is actually kinda doing uh, a little bigger than Giant Man here, and uh, she's uh, doing that uh, Black Widow kind of thing, that mm -hmm. enigmatic female, and the Hulk, uh, the the power of Doctor Banner, and uh, that's. Duly demonstrated by a picture of the Hulk. Because <laughs> Dr. Banner power. punching through a wall, probably pretty uh, spectacular. Ooh, the disco Hulk. The, <laughs> I'm not really sure what, the, but you see that image That's everywhere. Right, but it's right, like, exactly. what is he doing? And when he's when that's he's, called skanking. But yeah, have you ever heard uh, no. boy music? Yeah, that's skanking. No, you know, I mean it works because he's there's jets fight shooting stuff at him. But right. when you just have that image by itself, it looks like he's doing something skanking. Yeah, he's you know? skanking. Okay. It's a dance. Not, I'm not up. On you were never in the pits. Things. You were never in the mosh pits. This guy was never in the mosh pit. Mm -mm. And we'll be looking for you, buddy. And then we have Peril from the Pants. And we actually looked at Peril from the Pants in uh, the past uh, episode. <laughs> and uh, here we have uh, another uh, Up the Nose cover, turns out. Not Gil Kane. Not Gil oh, yeah, Kane, that's, that's the one I got from Ides last time I was right, here. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 
and uh, back from the dead, and the Hulk and his family. He's that a we all beautiful love so family. Well. You know, right. I would love to go to that family reunion. Yeah, exactly. Hang out with Major Talbot. <laughs> right. His yeah, chicken salad <laughs> is amazing. Have you had it? Oh, yeah. I so, so much love going there. It's There's, quiche. He makes quiche for breakfast. Right, yeah. And then we have sealed green skin trapped in the lair of the leader. Right on. That looks great. And there's giant man, in a giant giant so man, a tiny tiny box. Get me out of here, push him down. Ah! They're pushing them down. They're building up the Hulk. But hate to say it, but you're not just getting pushed yeah. off the cover. Oh, what? You are getting pushed off. Where cover. is thy sting? No. We got the naked man in the red green speedos. Right. With pointed That's ears. Prince Namor, the submariner. Or submariner. At last in his own series. Is it submariner or submariner? And uh, so, yeah, they gave the submariner his own uh, nice little two thirds of a cover, and the Hulk down there doing his own thing. Yeah, you know, I mean, a rock. Got, wondering why they didn't move the Hulk over here and the sub submariner uh, over there, but. That's what they did. Hulk uh, was already there. Well, bear in mind the uh, Grant Ray Lawrence cartoons were on the air, and uh, depending on like they oh. might have had like a focus group, and you know it's I'm like sure they did. some young New York uh, preteens really went for you know guy in a speedo, s- fishy men, and uh, a little wings you know, on his ankles. Well, you're right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It was it was a good deal. Oh, look at that! You don't even see the whole. Oh, so that, I think funny. they went back and forth share covers now, right? As, as yeah, I believe so. And I, I, I've always liked the pop art thing there, too. They didn't do that too many of those, but this is the Andy Warhol days. And right, right. trying to get in on, in on that little phase. But what what what'd you say you like? I was just going to say I'm going to get out the little zigzags for this guy. It's You know, that's hard to see that guy. It looks like a swamp it's, thing back there. It's like a little but, bud monster. Yeah, it's, Sticky yeah. bud monster. <laughs> Terpamines, no baby. About. Right, no, he doesn't. <laughs> and then we have uh, Subby and the Hulk, Tales to Astonish. And, uh, well, it's... that's Now that's a villain. You know, they're they're trying they're throwing a lot of stuff at the wall and they're trying to see what works. Another world, another foe. Oh, Are you ready for another foe? I don't know. I mean where is the porcupine? Yeah, right, exactly. It almost I looks like Ben Grimm in uh, in the days when he had the little tidy uh, blue oh, trunks yeah. on, you know, it's kinda orange like that. I mean, other than at first glance. Right. Well is... has the Hulk ever fought the thing? <laughs> Not that I know of. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> It's your pile right, now. So we'll, we'll go over these pretty quick. I got a whole big stack of them, but um, so we just continue with the Namer co- covers. All right, when fails the quest, and the Hulk gets pushed down in the corner, and you would think, oh, uh oh, what happened when Giant Man was pushed down in the corner? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's in. But I think the Hulk's going to come back. Yes. Damn. I mean, there's a beauty right there. Not all oh, my, my power, power can save me. me. Well, then I guess that's it. There's no other. Then why is this stack here? Right. Okay, and look how man, neighbor got really tiny little. Right. If little they actually cut the bottoms off the comics to return them instead of the tops, yeah, he'd really be in trouble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but see, the thing is, at least he gets some representation. The Hulk's yeah. nowhere to be yeah. found other than a right. nickel size. I, yeah, I mean, I, I liked it when they split him right down the middle. Right. And had a little bit of each, so then you knew who he, who he was fighting. And who he was. Who I should vote for. They're they're kind of they're kind of just going back and forth. With oh, that's Hulk, Hulk a nice covers. cover. Yeah, that's. Really oh, sweet, right? yeah, yeah, that's phenomenal. That that's wall worthy, folks. And the, are we looking at Rick here? Who? Rick Jones. Yeah, I think that's Rick. Yeah. We were talking oh. about him last episode. Right now, that's Snapper Car. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we're we're not we're you're getting one or the other now. You're not you're not sharing covers. Yeah, so we're just yeah, they're rocking these out. And you guys can always go. Wow, that's a so great green issue. Green and red, absolutely. Versus Hercules Hulk versus there. Herc. Man, that's that's a big issue right there. This right, might be the first appearance of Hercules. No, 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 because Herc showed up oh, in Avengers. Th- no, he was in and he was in uh, Thor, a, a, an early Thor. Right, right, yeah, exactly. That was, that was but first. see, this is an awesome issue because basically Hercules is on his way uh, to Hollywood on a train with his agent and a bunch of hot babes and they see the Hulk out in the desert and they go and fight with him. <laughs> That's Why that's not? literally the story. No, it's fantastic. You know, and the the agent's like, ah, this will make a great scoop. You know, oh, filming the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. so sixties. Yeah, I, I have I have read that. That's a great yeah. one. 
So we're gonna just go through here. Ooh, man. Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah baby! <laughs> Absolutely. When I was a kid, I had the Pocket Books reprint that had this story in it, and I thought that the boomerang was badass. Yes, that is a stupid costume. I agree 100%. <laughs> These are not boomerangs in any way, shape, or form. They look more like pepperoni. But I thought that it was so cool that a Hollywood stuntman washers. put on this, like, jumpsuit and little metal washers and went out and fought the Hulk in the desert. Uh -huh. Badass. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Gil Kane artwork. All right. He got him all fired up, didn't we? Oh, wait a minute. We got a little bit of Iron Man in hey, there now, too. Get back yeah. into Tales of Suspense. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. And what an awkward going. cover. Yeah, that is kind of... Yeah, his head's a little close to the good yellow cover with the... The General! The, the, the rocket ship in there. General right. Ross. Gotta love General and, Ross. How and, about a General Ross and uh, J. Jonah Jameson meeting? Oh, yeah, yeah. The meeting the of the grump, mustaches. The, 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 grumpy, the grumpy old men. Uh, dude, can you it. imagine the cigar smoke in that room? <laughs> It'd be unbelievable. Drawn by Jack Kirby. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Smoke. Yeah, exactly. You know, when I talked to Mike Royer, I asked him if, because he got the original art from Jack Kirby that he, when he inked it, if it smelled like cigars. And I believe it. And some of it may have smelled like cigars. So he's got some clothes on, but it's, it's kind of an awkward looking. I'm not sure what the. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on that one, but. Hard to say, but, but there, there's the Hulk on a poster. Way in the background here. Right, exactly. Oh, and this guy, too. The Hulk's in it, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not just the guy in there. Look, look at that. I oh, had, my I, God. I had... I had uh, Those aren't abs. Those are slabs. Yeah. The, the, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's pretty He's got, one. like, eight tits. What's going <laughs> on here? No nipples, eight tits, folks. <laughs> He's part pig. <laughs> yeah, that is very, very it's weird. It's a very iconic cover. I, I had this as a kid. Not not this issue, but it, it was on something else. Was it on a... I've seen this. For those of you who are counting at home, we're counting down. This is... Uh, or counting up. This is 87. More badass skill cane artwork. It's just really cool. Falling from the sky. It's Green not, versus he's, pink. He's not even Daredevil. Right, yeah, Daredevil's exactly. Daredevil's always falling from the sky. One of the odds. Noticed. Okay, we're sharing covers. We're back to a namer, number eighty-eight. It kind of looks like uh, Rip Taylor. Well, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we got a big blue guy there. Uh that's uh, well, that's not a tomb. Uh, yeah. That's uh, Baraya. <laughs> You know, the awesome thing about this, I covered this one on Comics for Breakfast. You know, it's just the artwork is phenomenal, and then the Hulk finally fighting someone worth fighting. Mm -hmm. Basically a more savage, more intense version of the Hulk. You know, it's only because he's Bruce Banner that he's able to get out of it. So, very cool. Anything on this? It walks like a man. It talks like a man. <laughs> That's Frankie all I got. Valley. Right, exactly. <laughs> a little bit of Frankie Valley. And then, well, that, hey. it doesn't get a whole lot better than that right there. Yeah, yeah, right? that's a I phenomenal. Mean, that's, that's, uh, that's some good stuff right there. Hulk would, you like, would, you, would you guys like to read that one? Because I would too. So. Great. In a world he never made. And I've always loved Wasn't the high Howard evolutionary. The Wasn't that the Howard the Duck in the world he never made? Yeah, oh, well, yeah, that's true. Uh, Hulk so, was there first. Yeah, well, he he didn't make it either. Neither right. One of them made yeah. it, to, to, to be honest. Yeah, good skull cover. Yeah, okay. nice. We're moving right along. We're going to pick up the pace, smash, bam. The Legion of the Living Lightning. Yep, we're still at 12. These and they're all... accepting members right now, folks, so please send your $3 what are in the dues. What's and, the prerequisites? Just the $3? Uh, well, you send in your $3 and uh, all your family's identification and, and uh, your back numbers. teeth, and it's a great deal for sure. Well, that's a pretty pretty good one. You like that? And it's just like, that's a perfect example of Marvel going outside of the box, doing something that it's just like you wouldn't see otherwise, but how striking mm -hmm. a cover is that, especially with Namor. Right. You know what I mean? Can't, Blue, can't black, up. and white. Right. Oh, can't, yeah. Can't pass yeah. Can't Slam pass dunk. Okay. And uh, another iconic Hulk. When the monster wakes! Yep. We're getting there. 99. Number 99. And... You go to 100. Shaboom! We've all, all seen that. Really, really sweet. Right. It's an epic 22-page battle. Yep. 22-page battle. And then, unfortunately, the last issue 
There it is, number 101. The Hulk's on it. The Hulk, uh, I guess if it was a competition between the Hulk, Giant Man, Ant Man, and Namer. It's the, the Wasp. <laughs> and the Wasp. Oh, is she in there? And yeah, she's in there. It was the Hulk there. because what happened here, number 102, they got rid of Tales of the Astonish, got rid of Namer, which he's not even on this what one. What do you mean? Submariner. It's right Submariner. there. Submariner. Right, exactly. It changed from that. Look at that. Yeah, well. And the Hulk got his own book. And right. Sub Submariner didn't. Yeah, yeah. Now, so is he on. on the Bifrost? Looks kind of Bifrosty. It says, Where Walk the Immortals? That looks like Odin to me. Yeah. And so that's it, folks. That's Tales to Astonish, the uh, mostly the entire run. We yeah. were short a couple keys, but I'm sure Larry was able to pop them up on the screen, or our Larry facsimile. Since he wasn't able to stand in for us, Gary is his clone. Thank you, Gary. So what's next? Tales of Suspense, maybe? Tales of Suspense, if you're good. Captain America and Iron Man? Tales of Suspense. What do you think, folks? Let us know in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. We're the old guys who like old comics. I'm Jason Mink. I'm Mike Jones, and cheers. Cheers. Drink with Mink. Thanks, guys. Thank you for joining us.